look at this stuff, man. This is crazy. You have a escaped guy, escaped murderer from Georgia, found walking along I-75, Florida Hi Highway Patrol says. Escaped murderer from Georgia was found walking around I-75, according to troopers. Florida Highway Patrol said troopers stopped a pedestrian walking south along an interstate at 602 in Charlotte County. That's one county over for me, people. The pedestrian was identified as Anthony Moret, 67, of Valdosta, Georgia. Troopers said after checking for any active warrants, they learned that Moret was a fugitive who escaped prison in Georgia. Moret escaped the Valdosta Transitional Center while serving a life sentence for murder and robbery he committed in the 1970s. Troopers arrested the fugitive without any problems and took him to Charlotte County Jail, right around the corner, and extradition back to Georgia. Stay ahead of the biggest. That's all they have. This is it. It's a big story. That's all they have. This is crazy. Like, you would think that's a way bigger story. Um, that's MSN News. You know, it's, it's national media. Uh, I looked and looked and looked. There's only, like, like, the article, that's it. I read the whole article. That's it. Nothing more than that. You know, it's here we are again with the escaped prisoners. Man, 2022, I will never forget my entire life how many people escaped prison. And, and I've said this so many times in past lives with you guys and stuff. Man, it's a prison system. Look. The way you look at that is, is it's very simple. Technology is, is getting only better uh, and for the worse. You know, you have AI stuff to worry about and all that type of stuff. But what I mean is when you're – the technology they have in these prison systems, they're not getting any worse. I understand funding and stuff like that. But, man, it's, it's, very, it's very hard to escape prison. All, it has to be an all-time record. I should have Googled that. It has to be an all-time record. The crime and the, and the amount of – the number of escaped inmates in 2022 has skyrocketed, man. It's, I've never in my life, leave in the comments, tell me, uh, I've never seen so many people escaping these prison systems. There's something weird going on. I can't figure it out. Uh, let me know in the comments. I want to bring you guys one other story, though. This is a uh, messed up trigger warning, domestic violence uh very bad attack. Let me bring this to you. A commentary at the end. MSN News. Largo man stopped on pregnant woman in Publix parking lot. Left her body covered in blood, deputies say. Largo man. A Largo man was arrested Saturday after deputies said he brutally attacked the mother of his unborn child. What a scumbag. Pinellas County deputies said around 517, Cole Joseph Daisy meant 27 of Largo got angry at the victim at the public's parking lot and began punching her in the face several times. The victim ended up falling to the ground, at which point Dazin meant began stomping on the woman's head and upper body, according to the arrest report. The report said a witness who saw the attack said it was so brutal in nature that he feared the woman would die. Dazeman only stopped attacking the victim after the witness pulled a gun on him. Deputies said the attack left the woman covered in large amounts of blood and possibly a broken nose. According to the Pinellas, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, the victim and Dazeman had been dating for about a year and lived together for around a month. However, the suspect was put under a no contact order after being arrested on domestic battery against the victim on October 11th, just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Deputies said he showed a pattern of violence toward the woman regardless of the order. The report said Dazen Mant did not deny the attack, but said he saw red and blacked out. Wow. Weird. All right, for this one, it's pretty simple, man. You have, it's disgusting, but you have this guy who says he blacks out and saw red, assaults his girlfriend that he was living with, living with for one month, previously arrested for domestic violence, knocked her down in a parking lot. When he drops her, he proceeds to kick her in the head. Oh, that's right, she's pregnant. And just, uh, doesn't stop kicking her in the head until literally a witness 
pulls out a strap and says, hey, man, back up offer. They, they put so much emphasis, emphasis on how much red blood there was everywhere. Um, it makes you wonder how much there was. There's no pictures with the story, just the, just the main picture of his mugshot. However, man, um, you know, if that guy's not there, I'd imagine it was a guy. I don't know. Whoever pulls the gun out and puts it in his face and says, hey, back up off, man, stop. He, he, then he doesn't stop because he admits that he blacked out. And he saw red. That's just, it's disgusting, man. Um, you know, a lot of the times on the channel, if I'm breaking stuff like this down, I'll tell you like what's gonna happen next as far as the inmate side of things and uh, you know, prison life. Okay, prison, prison, prison society, if you will. Unfortunately for this guy, um, you know, this is this is a real third bag thing that he did. A pregnant woman. A really, a really pregnant woman. He kicked. He's kicking her in the head. He would. He he wouldn't have stopped if that guy wasn't didn't make him stop with the gun. Unfortunately for this guy, um, I'm looking at the picture they provide us with, which is not much. Couple tattoos. So I know he's been to jail before. He's got that look on him. He's not gonna be thrown into the uh, the type the inmate that. I usually say, like, you know, uh, somebody who assaults a kid, like a, a chomo and a, a, a sexual offender, they're going to have a rough stay. They're going to get beat up daily. This guy, not so much. Not so much. Um, he's not he's not going to have that same type of um, pressure brought to him, okay? He's not going to be respected inside the prison system, but he's not going to be he, he doesn't have to pay anything extra for that. I don't know how it is. I don't make the rules in there, people. But I'm just giving it to you blood raw. Um, I'm giving it to you blood raw. You know, I wish I could say it the other way around. Um, but, but man, it's, it's not going to be like that uh, for him. Um, he, he's going to, you know, he's going to have the average the average stay, which, look, that's, that's rough, too. And that, listen, let's be real. That's if he even goes to prison. This is Largo. I've never been sentenced out of Largo. I don't know how the system is over there, but I would imagine, um, you know, they hit him with an attempt murder or something. I mean, for someone to have to pull a gun out to make you stop doing what you're doing, you, you did a whole lot. Um, so we'll see what happens with it, man. Two cases out of Florida. Let me know in the comments. Crime is through the roof. You know, uh, this one you may have saw. I don't know. I also don't know where you get your news from. But the one before here with the escape guy out of Valdosta, Georgia, the inmate who has been down since the 70s, he escapes and is walking down the highway. I don't know how that hasn't been on major media everywhere. I don't know how people haven't seen it. If you're from Georgia and you're in the comments, please let me know if you saw that news article. I'm dying to know if you did. It's almost like they're hiding it. A lot of times doing this, everybody knows, yes, crime is crazy up. Crime is through the roof. Yes, everybody knows this. Uh, escape prisons are up. A lot of comments come through. People think that um, there's something more to this than it is, especially with missing kids. People think that, um, you know, it's planned, it's a design, it's a distraction. There's a lot of comments I get like that. Um, you know, I get, I, I get also there's comments that come in talking about the FBI in their, and the FBI and missing kids. Um, it's for a different video. It's for a different live. If you know, then you know. But um, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So just let the comments rip on this one. Um, it's getting bad out here, man. It's getting bad out here. Y'all you know, stay, safe, stay safe and stay super smart, man, and very alert. It's White Boy Radio. Until the next one, I appreciate y'all, and uh, we'll see you on the next live. Follow the Twitter. Smash a like. And if you can, below is the members option. Hit it if you can. And always share the video. It's the best way you can help the channel.